Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Express Way Live in S3, and I can tell you we are so, so privileged to be in the company of the super talents from the number one urban radio station in South Africa. Uh, they're still going strong 36 years later, and I'm talking about Joburg's finest, South Africa's finest, Metro FM. I have to say that way. You have to actually add some bass to your voice and go, Metro FM, whose uh, breakfast team is actually joining us in, st in studio today for a nationwide takeover. And with me now is the entire vibrant team that you saw a little earlier. Now, I know I may have confused you because I had a bit of an accent, but this is all part of the plan. They do these wake-up calls to make sure South Africa wakes up properly. No one should wake you up with a... Da -da 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 -da. That's boring. They actually wake you up put you in situations that only tired eyes can actually understand. And we got these hosts, they are phenomenal. We've got Mo Flavor, we've got Kutso Teledi, we've got news presenter, Lindy Sarame, as well as Owen the Honey, according to some ladies I've chatted to, <laughs> but his surname is actually Honey. Guys, it's actually amazing to have you here, to finally see you yeah. in person, for so many who's actually been supporting you guys for so many years. But just to explain the wake-up call early, there was somebody by the name of Boosie on the other end that I was chatting to in an accent. I just want to make sure that's coloured in. The prank calls in every morning, they're obviously, they're, they're very, very different, right? Oh, they are. Mm. I mean, what did we have yesterday? Uh, accusing somebody of uh, stealing blood from a lab. Correct. <laughs> and that lady happened to actually be a cop. But she completely fell for it, like... <laughs> she was like, no, okay, fine. Uh, can we discuss this later? No, we're doing it now. And Lindy did that brilliantly yesterday. Really? Do you, you have an accent? Um, I didn't have an accent. Okay, I was okay. myself and I was... Um, who was I? Investigator Madonzella. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah Madonzella. I just heard it now. I just felt panicked. <laughs> you had that radio voice that came to me now. I was just, I was felt very panicked. But that, that, see, but this is the great thing about radio is that yeah. you, you can take people on journeys through audio as well. And now you get to take them through a visual journey as well, which is fantastic. But from you, Mo Flavor, the man that's at the helm of the Wake Up on Metro FM, this particular show, as it wakes up South Africa, what makes it so unique in your opinion? Well, it's about tapping into an instant energy because everybody wants things to happen instantly in the morning. Yes. So you want to know what's happening instantly. You want to feel good instantly. So everything we create around the show is to make you feel good, to yeah. make you feel connected to other people, no matter what their life story is, and also to connect to the world. And now and then connect to uh, crazy people like you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know, right, it's okay. I, I, but I, I want to just, uh, make sure that she enter the bank. It's okay. Gracias. <laughs> but but uh, Kutso, uh, just from, from your side as yeah. well, you are one of the powerhouse ladies in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I have had interactions with you in the past, and I've watched you work. And you are one of those inspirational women who are taking charge in an industry that somehow, when I got into to an industry like radio, yeah. it is always like, ah, you know, uh, the lady voice. It's, you know, we, we like the male voices on the shows, etc. And I hated that concept. But now here you are on a breakfast show doing your thing and making sure that other ladies who are entering the industry know that they can as well. Absolutely. Why does it feel they have that responsibility? I feel that take away the responsibility part yeah. and put in passion, uh, the feeling of doing what you love without having that responsibility because once you put responsibility, it takes away the enjoyment, the yeah. purpose. Yes. You know, so it's more of a purpose to give it your all, give it your best uh, without holding back. And I think that's what a lot of women are doing. And I appreciate that a lot. And I am inspired by a lot of women who do the same, giving it with purpose and with power and passion. You know. This is why I said what I said. Did you just feel that? I felt that, I heard it. <laughs> and I mean, this is what it's actually all about. You say, when you do your, uh, your thing and actually live your purpose, people know that they can do the same. And I think, Kutso, you're one of those ambassadors for purpose, in my opinion. Thank you so much. I just want to let you know. Wow. Another ambassador of purpose is definitely Lindy, who is a news analyst, a presenter, an extraordinaire, and clearly an investigative person <laughs> in, in SAPS. I don't know, according to some pr prank calls. But, uh, you know, when it comes to waking up people and also tackling all the tough subjects that you have to, this early in the morning, people haven't even had their coffee yet and they have to actually engage with you. How do you make it exciting? How do you package that so that an audience member can say, I'm, I'm woken up? and I'm feeling informed and entertained yeah. at the same time. I mean, that's a huge responsibility, right? Yeah. Making sure that millions of South Africans are informed every morning. Yes. And that comes with being a national news anchor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, but I think myself and the team, we do it so well because it's all about, it's not about us. It's about being able to send out that information to our listeners, but also give them the platform yes. to be able to view, to, to, you know, view their own opinions and share what they think about what's happening in the mm -hmm. country. And 
and we absolutely love it. And we bring it down to a level where everyone can understand it, yeah. whether you're in Cape Town or you're in Soweto, you have an opinion on what's happening in yes. the country, and that's what we want to hear. Mm. This is great, though, and you can talk about anything as well. 22 million rand flagpoles yep. and everything. <laughs> it just makes sense. But let's go over to the sport guy who is somebody who made a professional uh, cyclist leap to sports broadcaster, to professional model. He then moved on to modeling underwear and then came <laughs> back to radio. It's great. The, the radio landscape is thankful for Owen Hani making it happen over here. Now, I was actually going to ask you, how does it feel to, to be on a platform where people can't see your face? I love because it. Because it's tough. I love it. <laughs> because nobody recognizes you. Wherever you go, people don't recognize you. Oh, you Owen. OK. Don't, yes. They only recognize the voice yeah. and, not the, and not the face. But you know what? It's lovely working. These guys have been in the industry for more than 20 years now. Yes. Sports has always been a passion. You talk about purpose, passion, power. Mm. Sports, people love sports in South yeah. Africa. And they'll take it places. And we all know that. I'm just there to give them a tidbits about the sport and they will do the rest and they will inform me and I'll inform them. Yes. But it's a, it's a fantastic platform to work on. Metro FM is the biggest urban broadcaster, radio broadcaster in the country. Yeah. And um, we got an opportunity to be with those people, to entertain them, to enjoy the passion that we have out there. And uh, we get to do this five days of the week. Uh, waking up with people from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the morning. Yes, it's early. Yeah. Earlier than you guys get to work yes. on your show. But, way earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, way <laughs> too early. But anyway, we carry on and we enjoy it. And that's the whole purpose of what we do. Yeah, and he makes us do 100 push-ups every morning before the I show starts. In, in the, the underwear. Story. Yeah. <laughs> in the underwear. I, I had an idea. I knew that was going to be a thing. But this incredible cast of individuals who wake you up, South Africa, every single morning on Metro FM and now on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, we'll be with you. We're going to put them through challenges, omelette challenges, fitness challenges. Woo! You will see them, you'll see radio tested beyond limits on your Feel Good Breakfast Show today. <laughs> and they may be nervous, but we are just going to be entertained. So stick with us. This is Expresso on S3.